Hey guys, I'm Steven Spech. Welcome to the second episode of Barbers of Hudson County. We're here at David's Barbershop in Jersey City. Why don't you follow me inside so we could uh, take a look. Hey David, what's going on? Nice to meet you, man. Steven. Nice to meet you, man. How can I help you today? Do you have time for uh, beer trim? Let's do this. Nice. <laughs> Dude, how long have you guys been in business for? Five years, five years already, man. Thank God. Wow, dude. And how long you guys? Uh, how long have you been cutting hair? Me, uh, 11 to 12 years almost. Wow, dude. Yeah. yeah. I start with a family tradition. My father started this. Then after my father, What's up, dude? my oldest brother, and after my other brother, my twin. I always tell my father, I don't wanna, I don't wanna be a barber. I wanna be something different. I wanna be like an engineer. I want to go to college, I want to be, you know, something different and, you know, work. You guys seem like you're really, like, close-knit family, like, how did that come about? Did it just kind of, like, you kind of just, like, grew into it, or, like, you guys were always friends and you started a barbershop, or how did that, how did that go? Man, I started a barbershop with myself, me and my wife, and after that, I'll be, every time, like, uh, we start with Naji, I can start, Naji started the barbershop here, he come one day as a client, he told me, yo, um, how do I can be a barber? I tell him, just go to school. Next thing you know, two years after that, he's working with me already. <laughs> so he's like a family thing. Yeah. It's like, I don't know how you call that, man. Uh, in Spanish, we call it la familia. Try to make everything comfortable. Everybody feels good when they come inside here. I don't want to just be a regular barber. I want to be just like the second home. Now you had uh, Mayor Phillip cut hair here? Oh yeah, uh, we do the fifth um, annual back to school event. Uh, we have a mayor full of who come here, and we'll tell him, you know, gonna come here just to, you know, to say hi, you're gonna work. So we give him the machine and he start cutting hair. <laughs> so he do a good job. He can be a barber. I tell him I got a chair for him. So once every of being a mayor, it's a lot of stuff we can do. Why would you say David's Barbershop is different from other establishments and other cultures out there in Jersey City and Hudson County? You're the best, man. You're the best. Trophies proof. I think when you come here, they do have a lot of trophies, man. How many trophies you got here? Uh, we're missing a couple. We got like seven trophies, but here we got like three or four. The barbershop is a place where people congregate. Everybody's, you know, talking smack or laughing, yeah. cracking jokes during the holidays while hanging out. So that kind of environment is is like almost a representation of David's character. So because David makes everybody feel so comfortable, we feel themselves in the barbershop, everybody kind of enjoys that experience. Yeah, that's Francisco over there. Francisco just came from Puerto Rico six months ago. He's the rookie. He's still learning how to speak English. He's in there, you know. We always like to do that. Like bring barbers from, from the island. I'm, I grew in Puerto Rico and I know how to struggle. It's, it's, it's hard to be a barber over there. And then we got here Najib Adel Aziz. Najib. He's the bed right here. Why does Najib make all of his clients fall asleep? Because I read his profile. He's the he years of experience as an old guy. You know, I don't know how people like to be touched. <laughs> <laughs> I think Jersey City a lot, man. Jersey City, when I came from Puerto Rico, like I tell everybody, Jersey City is like a drug. You come here, man, here is there's a lot of stuff in Jersey City you can do, you start a culture together, so you feel like home. I feel like home when I get here, so when I start cutting hair at the beginning, I was kind of nervous, but not. Man, I went to downtown. Westside Avenue, my brother's about to go to shop. I come to the, like they call me to hear the hood. The, how you call this side here? The, this area here? They call it the hood, I don't know. Yeah. I call it home. You know, <laughs> um, so, Jersey City is, man, it's, it, as a businessman, it helped me a lot, but Jersey City, you need to be tough. This is not a city that you can come here and ah, uh, people's gonna feel sorry for me. Nah, here you need to be a man, you need to grow. If here you're not a man, the city's gonna eat you because that's, the city's a, it's a beast. You need to fight against the beast, you need to know, you know, the city's very, with the permits and that's not easy. They don't let you do a lot of stuff. You need to know how everything's run. Like that you can follow the, the process, follow the rules, and never give up. Because you give up here in the city, man. They say, if you make it in New York, you make it anywhere. They lie. You make it in Joy City, you can make it anywhere. Joy City is the beast. The changes happened to the city yet? I can say it's not affecting me because I feel like it's helping me now because I can see through the years. The more the city grows, the more my business grows too. We meet new people. It's, it's changing. I think the city, the only thing the city needs, on my eyes, because I'm here in this area, I think this area needs a little bit more, like a push. 
like somebody who can talk to these kids, the young, new generation, and um, give me that, that inspiration because sometimes I do a little bit, but I feel like it's not enough. I can help these kids, like tell them, you know, don't do this, don't do that. Let's, man, I wish I can have my own barber school here in Jersey City and teach these kids in high school, in this area, here, and I'm, they don't need to go to downtown. I feel some type of way sometimes, like I'm going to downtown to hang out. I'm going. I wish they can say, you know what, I'm going to the Kennedy Boulevard. You know, it's, it's safe over there. I can go to the MLK. I can go to Garfield Avenue, have fun over there too. That's that's the the, the, the goal about, you know. Like we start small, I, I know maybe not me, maybe my next generation do it. Oh, very nice. Very nice, no. I like it. No racer, yeah, still need to finish. So the guy behind me in the shampoo bowl, is that a next client or employee? That guy been here waiting for almost a hundred years to get a haircut, but he don't got no hair. <laughs> Aloha, right? Yeah. What does aloha mean? Hello, goodbye. It, it means almost anything. So it goes the same way. So this hello, is a word that you guys made up? No, you don't give it, Steven. He you goes, know. Zumba! And I, you know, I'm laughing, I'm laughing, and I'm like, Zumba! It's like, what? 